Hello, welcome to the Climate Challenge. This is the second in a series of videos which will orient you to your resort's Climate Challenge tool. Each time you open the tool, make sure that you enable macros up at the top in the yellow bar here. Otherwise, some of the tool's functionality will not work. Okay, in this video we will discuss two tabs in the tool, the Inventory Data Input tab and the Target tab. Fully completing both is required to submit your resort's Climate Challenge tool. We'll start by clicking on the Inventory Data Input tab at the bottom of the Excel spreadsheet. It will be green. Sometimes your tool will open with the screen scrolled down slightly. Make sure to scroll all the way to the top before you start. If you scroll to the top, you should see a map of the U.S. to your right over here, and this table to your left. The table will contain the current reporting year on the right, and previous reporting years if your resort has any, in the middle. You should only be filling out the reporting year column. In the first field, you will select the electric utility region from the map on the right, and input it into the drop-down menu labeled Select Your Region. This field will determine the electricity emission factor used to calculate your ski area's greenhouse gas emissions from electricity consumption. We updated the electricity emission factors for the 2017-2018 season with EPA eGrid factors from their 2014 version 2 update. We will continue to update these factors periodically. If you have reported in the past, you will likely see a significant drop in emissions moving forward as a result of these updated factors. If your ski area has a more localized electricity emission factor, either provided by your electrical utility or some other source, please ignore the first field and fill out other with your localized electricity emissions factor in pounds of CO2e per megawatt hour. The remaining information in this column helps the Climate Challenge team compare resorts more directly, despite differences in resort size, days open, etc. Once you have filled out this table for your reporting year, you can move on to the tables below. This part of the Climate Challenge tool is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you will be inputting all the data you have collected on your ski area. Things like the amount of electricity consumed or the amount of diesel fuel your ski area burns to power off-road vehicles. It will look different depending on what you selected in the Ski Area Information tab. Things like calendar year versus fiscal year or monthly reporting versus annual reporting will automatically change what this sheet looks like. Please make sure you have filled out the Ski Area Information tab before inputting any data into this tab. Before doing anything in this section, I want to highlight a warning. If your resort has reported in past years, there will likely be a number of these emission source fields already filled out. Please make sure that you do not copy over data already here or change the emission source for data from past years. If you need to add a different emission source, it is better that you skip down and fill out one of the empty sections below. Otherwise, you will alter your target tab. Great, now let's try filling one of these out. First, I will select my emission source. Let's say I am wanting to input my ski area's electricity consumption. I will then select electricity from the drop-down. The blue box is optional, but I am going to record where this emission source is from. We'll say it was from snowmaking on mountain number one. Then I will choose the units of electricity consumption that my data is in. My data is in kilowatt hours, so I will choose KWH. In the units drop down, I will select what operation it was for. In this case, it is easy and I will select snowmaking. Great. Now that I filled that part out, I can focus on inputting the actual data. If your ski area participated in the climate challenge last year, you would see data already filled out in this column. I am pretending this year is the first year for my imaginary ski resort and will leave this field blank. Instead, I will input the total annual kilowatt hour electricity consumption from mountain number one snowmaking operations, which in my case, I will pretend was 524,245 kilowatt hours. And voila, you are finished filling out this table. You will need to continue downwards, filling out a new table for every emission source that you are planning to measure for this year. Again, if your ski area has participated in the Climate Challenge tool in previous years, there should be data in your spreadsheet from those years. Please make sure that you do not change tables that have already been filled out. 
if there are already tables with data input into them and you are inputting data for the same source as previous years, feel free to add it to the use field for the new year. But if you are adding additional or amended emission sources for this reporting year, please scroll down and use a blank table. This way you will not incorrectly alter tables or charts that you will need later on in the Climate Challenge tool. And that's it for the Inventory Data Input tab. Great job! Now let's move on to the Target tab. I'll click down here to shift to the Target tab and you should see this page. If you scroll around you will see that there are not a ton of fields to fill out on this tab, but this tab is still very important. Here you are going to choose a greenhouse gas reduction target goal for your ski area. If your ski area has participated in past years, then you may not have to change anything if your goal is the same. However, if your ski area reached a target goal last year, you will need to come up with a new goal going forward. First, you will need to decide if your ski area is going to set a percentage reduction goal or an absolute reduction goal. The top half is for a percentage reduction goal. If you have correctly filled out the ski area information tab, then the baseline year and target year fields will autofill. You will need to fill out the two green fields. The first one, here, is for how many scopes you are going to include. Scope 1 includes all on-site emissions, such as burning of natural gas for heating or burning gasoline for various equipment. Scope 2 includes greenhouse gas emissions from electricity generation, even if it happens somewhere else and your ski area purchases it. Finally, Scope 3 goes beyond the first two. It can include a variety of things, and recording it is not required to participate in the climate challenge. Scope 3 emissions include sources off-site resulting from your ski area's consumption, things such as airplane travel, landfill emissions, or other business travel. Once you have selected your scope of measurement, then you will select your percentage. This is where you will select your target. The percentage you choose is essentially saying that your ski area is making a goal to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions by X percent below your baseline year by your target year. Let's talk about an example. If your percentage was 20%, your baseline year was 2011-2012, and your target year was 2019 to 2020. Then you would need to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions by 20% from what it was in 2011-2012 by the fiscal year 2019-2020. Awesome! Now that you understand a percentage target, let's discuss an absolute reduction target. The fields here are similar. Baseline and target year should autofill from previous tabs you will need to fill in the green fields. You will need to pick the number of scopes you'll be covering, same as for the percentage target, but for a reduction amount you are going to type in the metric tons of greenhouse gas reduction your ski area would like to reduce by your target year. And then you're done with absolute reduction. Remember, you only have to pick one of the two. Either create a percentage reduction target or an absolute reduction target. You do not need to fill out both. If we scroll back up to the top of this tab, you will see a graph. This graph is a great way to see a visual representation of your resort's emissions, your greenhouse gas reduction target, and your emission reductions to date. The yellow bar shows what your emissions would probably be without your resort having implemented the projects you will fill in on the Reduce tab, but we will get to that in the next video. And that's it. Please make sure you completely fill out the Inventory Data Input tab and the Target tab, as they are required for your final submission. Once you have finished, you can click on the Complete box up here, if you want to track your progress throughout the tool. We are excited to have you participating in the National Ski Area Association's Climate Challenge this year, and look forward to continue working with you to make this program impactful. We can only manage what we measure, and your ski area is making a significant contribution to fighting climate change by participating in this program. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email the Climate Challenge team at challenge at brendagroup.com. And make sure to check out our other tutorial videos for the Climate Challenge tool.